Hey, what's to you too, fam? It's your girl, TK, and I'm at home vlogging, darling. And today, I have decided that I wanted to get online real quick, and I mean uh, real, real quick, and talk to you guys about Permissa. Now, do you know what Permissa means by definition? Now, if you don't know what it means, don't worry, I got you. I want you guys to note, okay? Note it, jot it down, take a picture. Promissa by definition means promise. And it's so imperative that we talk about this because we're going to be talking change. And not only change, we'll talk Puerto Rico and a blanket ban that was sent to the U.S. Supreme Court. And who, when I heard that this case was being sent and how it was being sent, I became very interested. Now, I want you guys to understand something. The governor of Puerto Rico, she was actually out here talking about uh, suing the oversight board mm, definitely an interesting topic to understand so i want you guys to have a better understanding of who the governor of puerto rico was and what was the name of this case so number uno i want you guys to note that the governor of puerto rico is uh wander vasquez garcia so i'm um, hopefully i'm saying her last name correctly but if not we'll just stick with wanda vasquez that's something i can say now the name of this case is um, well, the governor of Puerto Rico, which is Wanda Vasquez, versus uh, the Financial Oversight Board and Management Board for Puerto Rico. Now, what I want to do right now is give you some statement of facts because it is so imperative to have an understanding of what this case is about before I give you the questions that Wanda wanted to present to the U.S. Supreme Court. Now, these are the uh, statement of facts. The Puerto Rico Oversight Management and Economic Stability Act, PROMISA, establishes an oversight board as a process of restructuring debt and expedited procedures for approving critical infrastructure projects. So do you realize that that PROMISA was put in place because Puerto Rico was a part of debt? Their debt was getting so high that, you know, the government decided, you know what, it's time for us to step in and stop all this, you know, debt from exceeding. It cannot continue to occur. Now, I want you guys to understand the statement, not only the statement of facts, excuse me, but the questions that Wanda wanted to present to the U.S. Supreme Court. Now, there's only two, and we're going to get through these questions quite easily, but I have to share them with you so you will have a better understanding, some clarity, darling, of what Ms. Wanda is all about. Now, number uno, this is the first question, okay? Now, the first question is whether the oversight board may preemptively override, override excuse me, the elected government's ability to request reprogramming of funds under PROMISA Section 204. C, via blanket ban, inserted into an oversight board certified budget under PROMISA Section 202. So, they're requesting a blanket ban. They're talking about contract. And um, I want to give you the definition of what a blanket ban is. But before I do that, let me go ahead on and review the second question because you need to know what she's asking and the second question. Now, the second one is whether the oversight board may, by including in its certified fiscal plan, a provision that suspends all reprogramming and prohibits any request from Puerto Rico elected government for oversight board authorization of reprogramming under PROMESA Section 204C. And post and passe through the fiscal plan, a policy recommendation that the governor previously rejected under PROMESA Section 205. Now, honestly, I want you guys to understand something. The governor of Puerto Rico is honestly out here. She's like basically saying, you know what? Mm, when it comes to this board, we don't want change. As a matter of fact, we want to practice bigotry, hate, retaliation. Honey, if we did not authorize you to become a part of this board, you won't be a part of it. Not today, boo. Well, that's at least her attitude. That's how she's coming across. Now, to understand or to just get my point across a little bit more, I want you guys to have a better understanding, some clarity of what a blanket ban means by definition. Now, a blanket ban, by definition, is a complete ban of any kind of material act. Ooh, that is, that's real, that's steep, y'all. This woman is asking for a complete ban. 
But if there's a change in the head of state, for example, a blanket ban would not be appropriate. I mean, let's say if the structure of the uh, government changes, well, then she's talking about a finesse within the contract and that is not acceptable that will not be tolerated and honestly i really feel like the governor of puerto rico should seize and desist all of these egregious abusive discriminatory behaviors honestly when i think about hispanics puerto ricans you know people from different islands um as, uh, especially within the hispanic islands i honestly did not ever think that there's so much bigotry and hate, especially within minorities. And to see how they're out here advocating for a cause that Donald Trump at one time like loudly and proudly said, I was against you. It's just so interesting to me. This man at one time said, I don't want Hispanics living in my dwelling. And these are the same individuals that's out here having or standing up for a just cause on behalf of Donald Trump. That's just so fudging interesting to me. Anyhow, if you don't believe me, um, Enrique Tario, that's his name. I was going to try to look it up, but I remembered it. Um, yeah, y'all have to look up at Enrique Tario. Like, honey, when I look at this man, he's giving off brown skin. He's giving off, you know, diversity but he's also not giving off inclusion. This man is definitely out here uh, practicing bigotry. And hey, he's a, he was the proud board leader. And I'm honestly not understanding it. Because like I said, Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump has gotten in a lot of these Hispanics' minds. And um, he's just like trying to reach. Uh, he, I don't know what he's doing. But honestly... Hopefully they look at these facts out here and see that this man from the beginning did not like minorities, including Hispanics, including they were not not include. They were included. OK. And the bigotry and hate. And just to see that them now just to see that they are now a part of like um some type of white supremacy groups. It's just interesting. That's all I have to say. Anyhow, um, with that being noted, guys, I think it's so imperative that you guys pay attention to my community tab. Um, I don't know if I said it, but I'm going to reset again what this docket number is. If you are interested in looking up this case, you are more than welcome to do so. I may even put this case number within the subject of this video, but the docket number for your reference is 19-1305. Guys, again, this um, case is interesting. Stay in tune. Um, it's going to be so much information coming out of this case that we need to be aware of. Not only do we need to be aware of this case, but we also need to be aware of like laws, rules, regulations, policies, and procedures because you don't know when, where, and how it might impact you. Honestly, guys, it is so imperative that you are out here and being safe, staying blessed, and always, 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 y'all. Stay positive, because this world can be a thriller. Mm. Bye, guys.